This is definitely going to be interesting. I would love to see how this matchup goes, specifically considering that, you know, Joker has these big moves and, and can be very aggressive sometimes because their big hitboxes that they have, guns, they have the ability to play both defensively and aggressively. Especially when, you know, Arsene comes out, you have these amazing moves, you have this, you know, very fast frame data. You know, it's just so, uh, like, amazing to see how, you know, Joker players actually use his character. And already from what we're seeing, Utopian Ray is kind of putting Ubel in the corner already, just getting this nice Ludge Trap going on, but going to get that reversed on oh, end. Oh, no. I do not think they meant to do that. So the one thing I actually, did, I've not really played Joker, but I've tried to see, you know, how it works. Guns, it feels a little bit hard to cancel, but I, as again, I'm not a Joker main, so there's definitely a little bit of thing I'm missing, so maybe they might have messed it up oh, just a little yeah, bit. Yeah, mm -hmm. they might have also, like, meant to reverse up B and accidentally gun, because they did an upwards gun, which was mm -hmm. B and up, so they could have just done a miss input, but let's see if they can bounce back from that. It, they could definitely take Rob's stock right here if they do good ledge pressure, and that's an almost an even game. But Ray going to find a really smart Nair to weave around that. And yeah, like you were saying, what makes Joker so good is the versatility in their gameplay. Rob can say the same thing. Um, able to do so, um, so many things from like insane close-up shield pressure to really good spacing to having so much mix-up with the recovery. The diversity of both these top tiers and how they can play the game is really what makes them on such a higher echelon compared to most of the cast. Absolutely. And looking at already, you know, um, Utopia oh. Ray, wow, oh. just with that very, very nice read. They've been doing a really well with just, you know, kind of keeping Ubel at the ledge. And something that I wasn't entirely sure if um, Utopian Ray knows about is that depending on where you actually have, that was a very nice up smash, by the way, just kind of just throwing it out there. Um, if you throw the um, gyro in a specific way, it actually goes to the direction you actually threw it to, which I didn't know about Rob. Yeah, the directions Rob is facing, um, sorry, is the way that it actually goes to. So whenever that happens, um, just looking for a way to oh, see, you so know, scary. how Utopian Ray actually uses that to their advantage. Because, you know, they, I, if I remember correctly, they are picking up this character just for a little bit, and they is going to be death. Oh. Yeah, Ray dominating right there, and it was really a matter of just Rob's shield pressure game with fade back nares, down tilts. Um, Ubel did not find a way to weave around that whatsoever, and so every time Ray was near Ubel, Ray came out on top getting so much percent, and Rob with such great kill power, able to down throw Ubel at, like, I want to say like a little over 100 and get the up tilt up air to kill, and so Ubel's going to really need to find a way to deal with Rob's pressure, which is hard um, if they want to take Ray, or if they want to take this to a game three. Absolutely, that's definitely within the realm of possibilities. However, we are going to see the switch to Lucario. Now, I definitely think this is their main. Um, might have just not really wanted to play against Rob because this is a bad matchup from what I've been told um, from people who play Lucario. Um, but this is honestly not a bad matchup for Rob. This is definitely really good, but this is not something that I don't think Utopian Ray was actually, you know, thinking they might have wanted to, but for sure. Already getting to this game, we see a little bit of percent on Ubel, just trying to kind of find their footing because this isn't Joker, this isn't the same matchup that you would see from Rob, and just trying to find a little bit of their footing. Lucario does do less damage when they don't have Aura, as we know, but that's one of the things about this character is that they need to build on percent before they actually can start seeing a little bit of, you know, some very nice, you know, damage being put on. So that's definitely the one thing that, you know, Ubel also has to consider for this matchup. Yeah, right now. Adding on to that, Ubel's going to have to be at this like 89 range, 100 range now. They're going to have to be able to stay here as best they can, and that is the opposite of staying there. Um, but yeah, they're going to have to be able to live to those percents and not let Rob get the cheese. And so you're definitely right with that analysis, right? Because it, it's it's just too, too overwhelming if Ubel cannot build up Aura. Ubel needs good Aura to be able to shut down Rob early. Otherwise, Rob's going to win so much more neutral interactions because of the matchup disparity. Absolutely. And we're already seeing, you know, Ubel kind of just struggling a little bit because they, you know, oh, is that going to be death? Yes, that is going to be death. And Ray actually dying along with Ubel. That was a... Ugh. Yeah, I think, I think Ray knew what they signed up for when they did that deep side B, but definitely a trade that was worthwhile. So 
I mean, honestly, just kind of setting it back to a new position, getting that side B again to catch the ledge trap in the roll in. Um, very nice recovery. Actually kind of mixed up a little bit with that um, up B, but just, wow, very nice counter um, coming in from, you know, Ubel. Ooh. Yeah, and because it is Lucario, Ubel right now with stock or can very easily kill Karab at 74 with a good back air read or like a run back F smash. And then, if Rob's at one stock, they can lose at any time with so much um, aura. So, Ubel's not out of this. Mm -hmm. And I was not expecting Ubel to not get hit Beautiful. from Rob, but that was a very nice kill with that down air to um, actually, you know, even up the stocks. And very nice recovery, too. And, you know, this is the weird thing about um, Lucario's recovery. It's a little bit hard to actually control Lucario's recovery. Yeah, it, it's, <laughs> it's weird for sure. Um, I'm sure the Lucario mains have a bit better of a grasp on it, but when I play Lucario, I've, I've SD'd many times. Oh, Absolutely. Ooh, picking up that gyro, and this is really scary for Ray now. I mean, Ray can die at any moment right now, and we've already seen, you know, Ubel has the ability to take this um, stock, but very nice. Beautiful. And actually clinging to the wall, and the thing about clinging to the wall is that you don't actually get your up beat back, so that was very nice on, um, you know, Ubel for going straight to the wall and just kind of being very careful about how they, you know, get back to stage. Ubel right here with a lot of momentum, and it was really smart. They did a short hop Aura Sphere instead of just doing one on the ground to go over the gyro, because that gyro is really good at stopping big projectiles. Ooh. Absolutely. And all we actually need right now is a grab. That's exactly what they wanted, and that is wow. going to be the stock. That is going to be the game. Taking that with Force Palm, you know, they just got a face full of aura. Yeah, I, honestly. You, you don't see the pure projectile part of Force Palm kill that much, but with 175 aura, it's hard to find a move Lucario has that does not kill you. So, um, really good by Ubel. There was very few that Ray, very little options that Ray actually could do in that situation. They probably had to roll to the left of uh, Lucario, but. I wonder if we're going to see the Palutena from Ray, or if they're going to try to stick it out. Nope, they were very confident in that Rob, and you know, they just, all that really was needed was just to kill them a little bit early, and we can definitely see, you know, a definite, definite game if, you know, Ubel decides to take a little bit more of a step back and just kind of compose themselves, because they did die first, and, you know, granted, Lucario is someone with aura and a very good comeback mechanic, you know, they could definitely can make this a very even game. Yeah, that's the thing for Ubel is you gotta go into this uh, third game with probably some more confidence because this that game you did die with a really unfortunate SD and still managed to win. So if you just play solidly here, it could be in your favor. Absolutely. Definitely needs to be careful with their disadvantage because that's exactly what Ray has been doing this whole time. Definitely been catching on a lot of these situations, making sure they can't get off ledge. You know, it's 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 honestly been such a hard time for Ubel, but gonna miss that ledge trap situation right there. But Ubel is at 100%. He has aura. I something might happen. Yeah. Oh, and that could be it right there. Really, Lucario's Nair is super good at closing in space with. It's very safe and can actually catch some Rob Gyro just like you saw right there. So I think it's gonna be a matter of Lucario's Nair, and also it's gonna be a matter of using that up B smartly to avoid Rob's ledge pressure. Absolutely, very nice jump right there. And that almost happened again. Ray just just went the other way. Couldn't, did not want to get you know killed for the same option a second time. And wow, oh, that's gotta be frustrating. Right, right in their face. You saw how oh boy, he went right there, and then just did the did the what, what did the move do to you? I forgot. Uh, up tilt up air. Up tilt up air. Yes, and just gonna make that. Well, you know, I even by up. the time that I was speaking, you know, they already made it even. It doesn't even matter anymore. Yeah, with that up on the ground that Ubel did, it was almost a 50-50 whether they're gonna drift in front or behind of Ray. And Ray guessed the wrong direction and died at a very early percent, at least considering the rate of weight of Rob. So right now, we have to see if Ubel can get back on ledge again. This has been where a lot of the games played is Rob holding Lucario down. Absolutely. You know, Ray needs to be very careful. They're at zero percent. You know, oof, they could be taken for a ride right now. Almost not a, not just the read yet, but that could have been some very big damage we could have seen right there. Yeah, Lucario's F smash is terrifying. That move will kill Ray, probably at this percent. It's extremely strong and Lucario fades back a lot when doing it, so it can whiff punish very well. Ooh, this is definitely looking like a very scary game. You know, Ray is playing very well, but looking a little bit frazzled. I mean, anything can happen right now. Ooh. Yeah, Ubel is showing very little fear of Rob, and it's actually been working out. It's really well-placed aggression right here. 
And I think one thing that's been going for them is they've been catching the gyro when Ray's throwing it at him. And that is so good because not only then do you have a gyro in hand, you're right in front of Rob when they're in lag. So great jump that catch. Was so amazing just reading the jump in and actually going to take that stock. Ray, it's looking a little bit scary for Ray up there. Gonna take it, you know, even with good DI, you still died of that move. Just very crazy, making this so even. Ray needs to be extremely careful because, you know, the one time that they did use um, grab to up throw, they actually didn't get the kill. So, honestly, mashing out of that, you know, they need to be very careful because, ooh, they need to hold their advantage just a little bit longer just because they don't actually want to lose that stock again to, you know, Ubel because that actually, be, this is the last stock of this game, you know, it, ooh. Yeah, adding on to that, holding an advantage longer. Right here, Ray has been in the spot for almost the first two stocks where they get, you know, 60 to 80% just edge guarding, but then Ubel's gotten back and reversed it. So Ray just has to not let that, this reverse happen. Oh, okay. Very nice immediate option just to stop Ubel from doing anything. Looking very scary. Oh, this could be it. I think up short smash, up air. Absolutely. Ooh. Very nice from Ray. Held their advantage. Got read that normal getup and just immediately taking that stock. They did not want to play around. They was mm -mm. that could have spelled a bunch of horrors for both of these characters, but very nice for Ray clutching it, just keeping it very even. You know, got that didn't 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 want to deal with that uh you yeah. know extreme speed, so they just had Ray. to extreme grab them and kill them. Yeah, Ray just had to go one stock that game, not letting not letting them stop the ledge pressure, and they finally managed to do that third stock and took almost no percent. So, mm -hmm. really good stuff by Ray. Absolutely, but. Getting into this next game, we 